So our theme this month is, and next month, is the UU Valley value of equity, which you've already heard the definition of, but which bears repeating. We declare that every person has the right to flourish with inherent dignity and worthiness. We covenant to use our time, wisdom, attention, and money to build and sustain fully accessible and inclusive communities. It reminds me of a story I've told here before called The Animal School. And I use the themes and lesson plans I wrote this year. And this story was a part of last week's lesson. In the story, all these different animals find themselves in a school where, for what everyone thought were good and, and right reasons, the curriculum was designed to be the same for everyone. An even playing field, if you will. But then the duck, who was graded on running as well as swimming, but had damaged his feet in the running such that he could not swim as the pro that he was. And the eagle, well, the eagle got in trouble. The task was to get to the top of the tree. He flew. Why not? Why is that cheating when everyone else had to climb the tree? That, my loves, was a rhetorical question. Okay, so needless to say, things rapidly fell apart. And some animals stayed, but never realized the best of their gifts, perhaps even suffering while trying to be something they were not. Some animals left to create their own little enclaves. A few of them, they just they didn't benefit from the gifts that others might bring to the table. And I imagine some found ways to, quote, build and sustain fully accessible and inclusive communities. I like to think that that third way is Unitarian Universalism. Keeping in mind that, as revered religious educator Maria Harris said, the church is the curriculum. We know that we can raise our children with this value of equity as well as all of the others in the classroom, yes, but also here in the sanctuary, in the social hall, committee meetings at Second Saturday Movies, on trips to the zoo and the Pride Festival, and much, much more, because remember, the church is the curriculum, and we are the church. You, me, the person sitting next to you, Caleb, who makes sure we have our whole lives, Marina, yes. Marina, who is in the nursery. <laughs> Reverend Diane. Wesley and Holling, and today Julie with the music. Brandy with her communication skills without whom none of us would know anything. And yes, Tony, our longtime custodian. And most certainly, all of our truly amazing religious education volunteers. All of us, we are individuals. We each have our own special gifts. We are a covenantal collective. And we can, we can honor our values. But one last thing, and something you may not have thought of yet. But it's my job to remind you, if the church really is the curriculum, then maybe we adults are also always learning. God knows we need to. And maybe, just maybe, our children and youth are our teachers. <laughs>